Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we have the hot pepper Tabasco with us. Hot pepper is not a very well known company but they actually have very good flip phones. They have the jalapeno, they have the Tabasco here and this one you can find at Metro PCS for about $75 maybe less if you get a different plan. Essentially the phone is free, but you get to get it with a new plan and it's only one month. So if you wanna get the device and you want to try it out, it's maybe about $50 with all of the activation fees. At the lower end, I got a different plan because I wanted to test a couple of extra things for the Metro network, uh, but we'll talk about that in just a second. And of course it says T-Mobile because Metro is owned by T-Mobile. But as you see right here, this is the Hot Pepper Tabasco. It is a flip phone. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It has USB-C, which is very welcome. It has the volume rockers and it has a 2000 milliamp hour battery. We'll talk about that in just a second. It does also have a camera. I'll put a sample of another device that I'm going to be reviewing. This is the BP device um, that you may have seen on the internet, uh, but I'll show a camera sample of this. It's serviceable, not the greatest, but it does get the job done. Uh, the flip phone has good tactability, and again, for $75, I think it gets the job done for those of you that need something very simple. So you have your operating system, which is pretty snappy, actually, in my opinion. You have the contacts, um, you can add them, you can have new contact, and since it's running Android, you'll have a lot of uh, functionality, mobile home, more fields, you know, where you want to add um, maybe an email or an address, uh, something like that. Now the call history, you can call there, you can see the options, you can go to your messages. Uh, we're going to do a test right here for the typing. Uh, the typing is T9, but I wouldn't use it. So I'll show you what happens when I try to type hello. First it gives me the numbers and then I have to go around and select. So instead, I, what I would do is I will just switch it to just regular, you know, triple click and the keys are satisfying they're rubbery material so they're not super amazing clicks but they're very serviceable and i personally enjoy most of the uh, kind of like feel and again for less than a hundred dollars i think it's a good option especially because it does have that amazing battery life that we're going to talk about in just a second so right there hello my name you know and you can type uh essentially pretty quickly uh and you know, delete if you have any issues. So I think triple click is better than T9 in this specific device. And you cannot load any extra apps, so there will not be any redeeming. Uh, you have the camera and of course the previews. You can see a little bit of the preview of the picture uh, that I showcased to you before. And again, it's serviceable if you need to send uh, some document or maybe some extra quick information. The browser is unusable. I do not recommend using this browser at all. As you see right here, I loaded a Google page trying to download an APK. Uh, and it does have a mouse, as you see right there but it doesn't scroll actually it just stays there and you can only see the first result so if you're trying to use this for something important if you need a browser i do not recommend this device at all i even tried loading the <clears throat> different mouse and as you see right there it doesn't allow me to scroll on the different modes on any of the apps so it's kind of like a little bit of a bummer uh, personally um, but I mean, again, it depends on what you're looking for, for the device. So do not get this device for the browser. Do not attempt to use the internet on this device because it will not work. Uh, besides that, it does have pictures, music, uh, which you can organize, and it does have access to a micro SD card in the back. Uh, let me clean that screen right there. So it doesn't have any smudges. Um, then you have a playlist, albums, artists, you know, everything that is essential. You can play videos and FM radio via the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And of course, a sound recorder, which is not the most amazing, but it does get the job done again. It, you know, it's pretty good. Besides that, you have access to tools, calendar, fully functional. You can add events. Um, the phone has about eight gigs of memory and about four are usable for the user. So I would not overload the calendar and other things. I will clear the memory as much as possible. And it does have the cleaner right there for those purposes. It does have a calculator, very basic, and it does have a clock for your alarm, stopwatch, you know, 
all of those basic things. The calendar will hold a decent amount of entries, but just don't super overload it. And I don't think <clears throat> it does have the option to sync with anything, um, if I recall correctly. Uh, it just has kind of like very basic options, but there is no sync available since, again, this device doesn't have very good RAM. You have the cleaner, which will clean up memory to make the device more snappy, but as you have seen, it's a pretty snappy device. It's not bad to use. You also have an email client if you want to use it. I configured it, then clear it out for you know privacy purposes. I don't necessarily recommend it greatly. Um, I think the Coursera Direct V is a better one for sure, or other high-end devices. But if you really need something in a pinch, I definitely you can set it up and it will work. It will just be a little bit slower than than usual. So as you see right here, you have the manual set up and you have to enter the fields and you know all that good stuff. You also have a file manager, as you see right there, 418. Um, about four gigs are use. Then you can grab a note, you know, and put your maybe grocery list or to-do list in there. Uh, you do have wireless network and Bluetooth and T-Mobile and tethering and mobile hotspot, which are included with the plan. And you also have a way to look at the apps. So I can look at all the apps that I have installed. And as you see right here, you know, I installed the apps are cursor and the Matt TV cursor. I've tried to use different ones. Nothing, nothing works. Um, you also have sounds, call volume, ringtone, um, display, brightness level. This is very low, but I can go higher right there, for example. Um, you also have the battery, which let's talk about that. So, okay, the battery is amazing. It's probably one of the best batteries that I have used in a long time. Uh, it lasts at least four to five days uh, with very minimal use, which you're going to have because you don't have a browser or other apps. Um, I personally think it's great. It's great battery life. Uh, honestly, I'm very, very impressed. But at the same time, it's because, as you see, this part is very thick for the device. And this is very thin because they put more emphasis on the battery. In a 2,000 milliamp hour battery, uh, you're not going to be burning it through through a day. So, you know, maybe if you are super heavy phone call. But uh, again, if you do just a phone call here and there, uh, you're going to not have any issues. So battery usage... Um, it drops nothing, literally nothing over like idle time and uh, just throughout the day using it, bringing it into different conditions. It's very good. Uh, again, this uses the T-Mobile network and it's very reliable with Metro PCS in my area. But of course, make sure to check your area. Uh, mouse toggle service. Oh, yes, of course. Like, you know, uh, I was trying to do this earlier uh, or yesterday. Uh, but you have a lot of like different things that I need to do, but nothing worked for the mouse. And if somebody uh, has made it work, please let me know how and I'll be you know making maybe an update or like an update post or things like that. You can, of course, put a pin and you have your software updates. Uh, and so far, I think yesterday, as of yesterday, my, yeah, my software was up to date. Uh, it is running Android 12. So the issue with the mouse is not necessarily because of Android 11, as we know that that version is not super compatible, but it's mainly, I don't know, it's the phone or the software that is running. So my conclusion for this device is that if you want a phone that does phone calls and text messages and you're in the T-Mobile network, um, I think this is a very good contender, especially for the battery life. It's an excellent battery life. I, I mean, I, I quoted it at four to five days, but more realistically with moderate use or high use, you're definitely going to have two to three days with no issues and you can push it to four to five maybe even further if you are a very, very light user. So uh, your mileage may vary on that, but you know these are my thoughts. And if you have any questions about it, make sure to put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.